This video is an ad for King's Bounty 2. Shera Bagera. So, I've always wanted to be a rogue, a badass just lurking in the shadows. But do I look like one? No! So we're gonna fix that right now. Meet me back at the basement. You're already here. Good, come. Here's the plan. We're gonna make this armor everything from the bracers, the cloak to the daggers. It's gonna be a lot of work. Still up for it? Good, let's do this. The first thing we're gonna start working on are the bracers. And to make those, we're gonna need some cling film, some tape, and some three millimeter vegetable tanned leather. I'm gonna use the cling film and tape to wrap my arm and make a perfect template of it. And then I can use that to transfer over to the leather to cut out all the pieces I need. Without further ado, let's get to work. Now that we got all our pieces, we can use an edge bevelier to round off all the corners and then we can use this burnishing tool together with a little bit of wax just to really smoothen those edges. everything is dyed we can make a couple of straps just so we can do a test fit and make sure that everything fits together. So uh, you remember Stacy? Well I got a new friend for you. This is Ashley. I named her Ashley because she makes me feel so alive. Like I got purpose once again. Um, she's slightly more terrifying than Stacy because... Yeah. Anyway, now that we have basically a fancy clothing hanger. I'm finished with the bracers. I did a little test fit on myself and they do fit. So now we can start dressing up Ashley slowly. By the way, I am gonna paint this part and this part in like a metal color. But I'm gonna wait with doing that until I have all my leather armor pieces so I can do everything at once. So now let's put this on. Gotta say Ashley, looking pretty good. But one thing I'm wondering is, why is her head this flat? Like, Now that we have Ashley here, we can move on to making the gorget. We basically just have to do all the steps we just did with the bracers, but with a different armor piece. Let's do this. Hansi!
boy, it's looking so nice so far. And think about how pretty it's gonna be when these are silver. Next I'm gonna start working on the belt here and there are a couple of challenges I haven't quite figured out yet because we have to make a skull in the middle and this pouch on the side. But I think I'm just gonna start working on it and make something basic and then we can figure out the hard stuff later. Let's get to work. shape of the belt is now finished next I'm gonna make a pouch on the side here and I'm planning to use a method called the box stitch method and it's actually pretty simple so I have made a little drawing here to show you what I'm thinking so basically we only need four pieces of leather so this one is going to be one piece this is going all the way around here so it's basically going like this in a little loop. And then we have just basically a full belt going around the whole pouch, which is also going around this belt. That's the piece right here. That will of course go behind here. And then finally, we just have two pieces on either side right here. And it's gonna be the same on this side. And this is where we're gonna stitch them together. So it's really a pretty simple pouch and uh, it shouldn't be a problem to make it. So let me just find my leather, some stitching supplies, and we can try to make this pouch. These are the four pieces we need, the main body, the sides, and the belt. And now I'm gonna use a hole punch to make all the holes that we're gonna use for the sewing. Now we can stain them, glue them, and finally stitch them together. is finished <laughs> and I made it a little bit bigger than what is done on the sketch because I want some space for my phone because in the future there might be conventions who knows so in the case of that I have somewhere to store my most important thing <laughs> now there's really just one more element left to this belt and that is the skull in the middle and I'm gonna make that with some polymer clay and just a simple leather loop on the back let's do it So since Martina has done all the difficult part in this project, I'm gonna do the easy part of making this. And it's already made. Due to the magic of 3D printing, I've already made this. Thank you, goodbye. It's mostly made, I still need to paint it. And we're gonna use the gloss black from Alkaline with some chrome to get it to look like bright shining metal. And we're also gonna do that to the metal leather parts in this costume so that Martina doesn't have to deal with that as well. So let's get painting.
So I haven't really talked about the character we're creating here and the design is actually from the game King's Bounty 2 who commissioned this project and is actually one of the bandits from the game. And like before I started this project I thought a lot about making some sort of assassin costume but I couldn't really land on a design and when I saw this I was just like yes! I need that in my life. But anyway, before we get to the sewing part, let's talk a little bit about this game. King's Bounty 2 is this really cool turn-based RPG game set to release the 24th of August. I'm actually really excited to play this game because it looks amazing both visually and gameplay-wise. Like, what more can you ask for? You're playing as one of the heroes, set to fight in a fantasy world in disarray. Through turn-based combat, you have to fight against everything from distorted and dangerous creatures in the wild, to bandits on the roads, to entire kingdoms. The story will bring you adventures of betrayal, sacrifice and survival. Your actions play a big role in the game and how you choose to lead your army and interact with the world will have consequences. So if you think this turn-based RPG sounds interesting then make sure to wishlist it on Steam using the link below. It will be available on both PC, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One which is pretty cool. And back to the project. So all the leather parts are done and now it's time to make the cloak, the hood, the mask and the undercoat. I have very little experience with sewing. Um, I'm gonna wait with all of these fabrics that are for the cloak. Let's postpone the difficult parts and do the easy stuff first, which is making the undercoat. So I'm gonna use this gray fabric here together with some elastic bands at the waist. And I'm gonna try to make a super basic tunic you can just pull over. You're just gonna see the bottom part anyway. And then I'm gonna make the mask and then finally do the cloak last. So let's ease in with the undercoat. Let's get to work. We got a mask and a tunic done and they both fit. They were fairly easy to make, but now we gotta move on to the coat. So I've done a bit of research on making coats. I looked at patterns and different videos on how to make it, but nothing really fit exactly what I need here. I've thought up a solution that hopefully will work. I've been looking through all my clothes and I found these two things. This dress and this sweater. And the thing is the dress basically has like the right shape. It's just a little too short, but it has the right shape for the coat, but it's missing the sleeves. But this has the sleeves I need. So what I'm thinking is to make like a Franken dress situation where I just adjust it a little bit to make a coat out of it instead. So that way I save some time in getting the right pattern, making it fit my body and I get exactly the pattern I need. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm thinking it will work. Let's get to work.
We got the base of the coat done and I'm really happy with how it's turning out so far. But now we have to add some detail on top of this because if we look at the drawing, there are a lot of like dark blue areas and some of the silver edge banding. So we're gonna add all of that right now. We're done with the sewing, so here are all the clothing pieces and back there we have all the leather parts that have been painted. So now we can finally start dressing up poor Ashley here and we can also rivet together all the leather pieces. It's time for the final assembly. just about to put on the last armor piece and I realized I haven't made the boot covers. But <sighs> the boot covers are finally finished and Ashley is all dressed up now and I'm gonna put this on in a second but first let me know how much you like this in the comments because I really loved making this. And remember to subscribe. What are you doing not subscribing? And if you really like this, we are going to make a behind the scenes episode on how we made this. And we're gonna put that on our Patreon. So I will leave a link to that down below. And now without further ado, let's put this thing on. I am death. 